<laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, number one, remodel of light. Ready? Here it goes. Light travels. Oh, we're riding. Yeah. In straight lines. What? I know. It's like we did that in the lab. Light travels in straight lines. That's the ray model of light. So if you have a light bulb, the light comes out in straight lines, which actually makes a lot of sense because that's kind of how we always have drawn them. So light travels down straight lines. It doesn't want to be. Always wants to be a straight line. What if it identifies as a curved line? What if it has it has feelings too? Maybe it could. It wants to identify as a curved line. Maybe. All right. Types of mirrors. So there are three types of mirrors. There's plane mirrors, which are flat mirrors, and then there's two types of curved mirrors. There's convex, which we've talked about, which looks like this. And there's concave, which looks like this. OK. Oh, yeah. So the first way we're going to learn how to do this is by drawing. OK? I think it's important to learn how to draw them. One, it gets you thinking about what's really going on. Um, and two, it's a good visual for this. And this is a really visual thing, because it's literally light. It's what you see. So you should draw it and you should be able to see it. So we're going to learn how to solve these both drawing and mathematically. Okay? Um, but we're going to start with the drawing ones. Okay. Ray diagrams, setup, and labeling. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a flat line across your paper. Yeah, that's why you have a ruler. <laughs> and that's called, it's got to be plumb. That's called the principal axis. And I usually will just abbreviate that as PA. OK. The next thing you're going to draw is you're going to draw a mirror. So whatever kind of mirror I tell you, you're going to draw it. And you can make the mirror fairly large. And you put it, I usually put it a little bit to the right of center. It's not really imperative where you put it, but you should put it kind of in the middle. Um, don't put it way to the right. Don't put it way to the left. Put it in the middle-ish. So that's going to be your mirror. So that's the next step you do. Okay. Then you're going to draw a vertical line that starts at the end of the mirror. And I usually draw it as a dashed line. And that's called the reflection point, or the reflection axis. OK? So far, so good. So we got our principal axis that goes across the middle. We got our vertical reflection line. Uh, and we got our mirror. OK? Then there's three more things we're going to draw. We're going to draw the object, which I always draw the object as an arrow. Now, you can draw the object whatever you want it to be. Um, a lot of the problems that you're going to do are either animals or vegetables, because I just, there's rutabagas, and there's kumquats, and there's yaks, and all kinds of good stuff. Okay? So you just draw the object. I always draw the object as an arrow, because it's easy to draw. Okay? So that's going to be the object. And you're going to draw that as a point on the, um, on the axis. I'm going to tell you where to draw it. Same with how big the object's going to be. Okay. Then you're going to draw something called the focal point, which we've talked about. It's where the light gets focused. That comes from really far away. So that's going to be the focal point. Which is just abbreviated as capital F. 
and object I'm just going to write as O. And the last thing you're going to do is C. Man, I put my focal point at a bad point. Jeez, Mr. B. I know. I'm uh, I'm losing losing my edge. Um, ooh, but I did that. Oh, yeah, that's what I did wrong. Okay, so the last thing you're going to do is the center of concavity. It's called C, and it's always double F. Always. It's always double F. Okay? So my F right here you can see is measured to be 2 centimeters exactly because I'm awesome. And then I would need to go 2 more, which would put it right here. And it's either called the center of concavity or the center of curvature. And it's always 2 times F. And the symbol for it is C. So this is what you're going to do every single time. You're going to draw the principal axis. You're going to draw the mirror. You're going to draw the reflection axis. You're going to put the focal point. You're going to put the C. You're going to put the object. Every single time, that's how you set it up. Where's C? I just really want to see it. Yeah. Right there. C is called the center of curvature. It's always double F. So if F is, so like if I tell you in the problem the focal length is 4, C is 8. So, if it, so the focal point is from the mirror? Yeah, the mirror is from this dashed line to wherever I say the focal point is. So mine's 2. Okay. And then this would be an additional 2 out, double what it was. And the object would be wherever I tell you to put the object. You'll see, once I give you this example, it'll make a lot more sense. Uh, it's so it's two times F and then dash C is the symbol. Yeah. Okay. Once we start doing this, they'll make a lot like you kind of have to do it to really see what's going on. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it.